What's up everyone? I'm back. Yes, it's the renegade hillbilly himself. This is J Dog from J Dog's DVD Dungeon, and I'm bringing you Pot Deuce of J Dog's Top Ten Canadian Horror Films. I got a couple more to go through, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed part one. And yeah, nice shirt, eh? I know I keep uh, plugging it, mentioning it. T-shirt Joe, everyone. The guy's phenomenal. But anyway, a slasher. Canadian film, Iconic Killer, Harry Warden. This is a special edition of My Bloody Valentine. Yes, cross your heart and hope to die. But this is just a great movie, I think, from 1981. It came out the same year as stuff like The Burning, Prowler, Friday the 13th Part 2, Halloween Part 2. It was the golden year of the slasher. And this is one of the better ones from that year. And yes, it is Canadian. Ah, where the hell was it shot again? It wasn't Newfoundland, because I was corrected on that once before, but... Hmm. New Brunswick, maybe, or something? But anyway, it's cool. I won this on the Dead Pit uh, Blog TV trivia one night. So, thank them. Got it for free. It's a great movie. I love it. The kills are great. This is uncut, this one. And this is uh, kind of where people get the whole Canadians and Moosehead beer, because Moosehead beer is the official beer of My Bloody Valentine and Canadian Fur Ox. So that's what we have in common here at uh, in Canada. We keep it real with each other. And my co-host, Changeling, he actually got to meet some of the people from this movie, so big ups on him. I'm jealous. Like, the fucking guy sees everything. I see nothing. I see DVDs, movies. Yeah check it out. It's a great slasher, one of the better Canadian ones. And it was right in the whole uh, golden age of the slasher, right in the whole prime time of it all. Harry Warden kicks ass. Check it out, everyone. That's another one, since we're talking Canadian slashers. This is VHS, because I'm waiting for the DVD copy, the new one I just bought. This is with the original art. j Dog has the one-sheet poster for this as well. But this is Happy Birthday to Me. Yeah, same producer that did My Bloody Valentine, Happy Birthday to Me. This was uh, directed by, ah, the last name was Thompson. I can't remember the guy's first name right now. I'm having a brain fart. But it's Charles Bronson's buddy, and he did like a lot of the Death Wish movies and like 10 to Midnight and a whole bunch of Bronson goodness, like uh, Evil That Men Do and stuff like that. This is the only uh, horror movie he ever did. He always wanted to do a slasher. And he rates this in like the top five films he ever did. He really enjoys this. And this is a good movie. It's got some original kills. It's fairly well paced. It's got a decent story. And it's Canadian, best of all. Yeah. Us Canadians, we do know how to make a good food. Like craft dinner, waffles, syrup and stuff. But we also do know how to make a good horror movie. A good uh, slasher, if you will. So yeah. Check it out if you haven't. It just got re-released by Anchor Bay. You can get it on the cheap, everyone, with the original soundtrack and artwork, just like this VHS has. Happy birthday to me. Great Canadian slasher. Yes. Let's talk another Canadian slasher. Love this movie as well. This is my favorite of the Prom Night films. These were all shot in Toronto, if I, if I uh, remember right. I think so. But this is Hello, Mary Lou. It's prom night too. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. See, J Dog. He's uh, he can sing. He can he can carry a tune. He's just multi-talented like that. You should see me dance. I'm like the reincarnation of Michael Jackson. Get down, just shake it anyway. But uh, yeah, prom night too. It's more of a ghost possession movie. Uh, a lot different than the first. A lot more entertaining. Yeah, Mary Lou. She's badass. That chick's hot. It's like a little sleazy. Yeah, just like J Dog, so it's my kind of lady. Yeah, check it out. Check out the Prom Night movies, not just part two, even part one, part three, part four. They're all Canadian. Give them a shot, people. This is Prom Night 2. Hello, Mary Lou. This is the last one of my top ten. The rest are going to be honorable mentions. But this is Class of 1984. Yeah, this is shot in Toronto. Once again, great movie. Not a horror movie, more of a kind of an exploitation, I suppose. It's like a gang, like a badass school. Teacher get gets transferred there. Students start fucking with him. They end up uh, raping his wife and stuff. 
fucking with uh, another guy that's a teacher there. Yeah, great film. I don't know. I, I can't recommend this enough. Like, uh, it's got Roddy McDowell in it, Michael J. Fox, a yeah, very young Michael J. Fox, I think one of his first roles. He's like a little goody two shoe. He's getting punked and beat up by the gang. Yeah. Real cool artwork on the DVD. Just like the VHS and the poster. Badass. I can't recommend this movie enough. This movie is golden. This is the tits. This is the two, two thumb J Dog recommendation. I wouldn't steer you wrong on this. This is class of 1984. This is at least from Anchor Bay. This is number six of uh, the cult fiction series, the cult classic film series. I got a whole bunch of them. All, I, all it was is Anchor Bay just put this slip cover over top of the other DVDs to help sell them a bit. But caught my attention. I bought it. It's a great film. I say go get it. Watch it. It's filmed in Toronto. I'm going to go uh, to Toronto to see the high school. I want to get my picture taken leaning on the flagpole that Michael J. Fox's buddy climbs up and falls off when he's all tweaked out on speed. So, yeah, that's what J-Dog wants to do. He's going to spend money to fly to Toronto to do that. Uh, anyway, honorable mentions now go out to the first prom night. It's a slasher. It's not very good. It's a lot. Of, it's overrated, I think, just because it has Jamie Lee Curtis in it. It's a cool VHS copy. Flips open, special edition. Prom Night, honorable mention. Another one, David Cronenberg, VHS again. This is a very cool VHS, but this is Shivers. Yeah, body horror again. Uh, so good, like little parasites that uh, turn people into like sex crazed maniacs. Shivers, it's good. It's sleazy, pardon me, I'm burping at the same time I'm trying to talk, but honorable mentions to Cronenberg Shivers. Give that a watch as well. Great Canadian film. There's some Canadian cheese. Yes, a little horror sci-fi. This is the brain. Mind over matter. Yeah, if she don't mind, it don't matter, guys. Yeah. But anyway, the brain. This is filmed in Toronto, too, I think. Great cheese. This is like, yeah. It's a brain. It's smart. It's like kind of a computer thing. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but... It was good times. It was good cheese. Good fun. Canadian film as well. And who can forget The Gate? Got Louis Tripp. Uh, he's a Canadian actor as well. Stephen Dorff. Yeah, a couple of boys. Uh, parents go away for the weekend. They open the gates to hell in the backyard uh, by digging a hole and the dog dying and burying it in there and brings back little claymation demons and dead dudes that have been living in the wall for years that no one smelt for some reason. It's a great film. Always loved this when a kid when I was a kid. I watch it all the time. This is the old release, the out of print one. It just had a special edition, so look for that and pick that up if you can. That's the gate. Great Canadian film. Actually won a couple uh Gemini Awards in Canada, so that's pretty cool. Or Genie Awards is what they're called, yeah. And won a couple awards. The Gate Two. Starring Lewis Tripp from part one, the Canadian actor. Once again, Canadian film I enjoy. I'm kind of running low on time, so I'm rattling through these. Deranged. Another, oop, another Canadian film. Yes, Ezra Cobb. Crazy son of a bitch. It's based on the Eddie Gein story out of Wisconsin. The serial killer ghoul. Yeah, Deranged. It's a good movie. Suggest you check that out, too. And gotta talk about The Fly. More Cronenberg, yeah. J-Dog's a Cronenberg nut, so... Hope you enjoy. But who can uh, who can talk any shit about the fly? Like, yeah, Jeff Goldblum. He's bad. He's kicking ass. He's still getting tail, looking all ugly like the fly and stuff. It's a cool movie. Good special effects. Great Cronenberg stuff. And last but not least, before I'm out of time, J Dog loves this movie. J Dog likes uh, Scanners one, two, and three. This is great. Exploding heads. Cronenberg style movie. I love this movie. It's uh, kind of slow, but J-Dog just, for some reason, I just dig the shit out of Scanners. I think it's great. Love it. Probably one of my favorite Cronenberg films, so, yeah. J-Dog said it. He loves Scanners. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, top ten Canadian horror films with honorable mentions to a bunch of others. So, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know, like, even if it's a bad one, be like, yeah, hey, you fucking clown. Take your toque off. Your podcast sucks, and... 
But don't do that. That'd be rude. I'm just kidding. Say like, J Dog, we love you. The videos are great. You can put that. But anyway, till next time. This is J Dog. J Dog's DVD Dungeon. Watch horror exploitation. Listen to podcasts and watch YouTube videos. Peace out.